You're watching President Polo. Hit Here the subscribe. Well, everybody, it is finally here. No Way Home Trailer 2. I can't believe they didn't show Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. We're hoping for that Spider-Man universe, right? We are pissed. What the heck? My girlfriend just told me right now she saw it. Her first words were meh. And not that good. And what else did you say? Kind of lame. Kind of lame. Sad, it's gonna be more of the same, but we're digging deeper into it now. It's been an hour since it's been out. I recommend you check out Screen Crush. They're gonna come out with a really good trailer breakdown. I'm sure by the time my video posts that, their video will be out. Um, as the time I'm posting right now, Nerd Report, still live. They're breaking down the trailer. And what I was really impressed with here was um, some of the comedy, uh, I like that. It's still a Marvel movie to its core. We need a palate cleanser after Eternals. It's going to be way better than Eternals. Uh, but here's the thing. These type of secretive trailers are BS. It's secretive. You have to pry open to reveal any type of Easter egg there. Now, we see the villains. We see Sandman. We see Green Goblin finally up close. We see Electro. To me, I was really unimpressed with Electro. He looks like his CGI isn't finished all the way. It was really, really lame. But we got to see him, which is good. Um, now, here's the cool thing. They have this Spider-Man with the, with the Doctor Strange magic. I think that could possibly be either Toby or Andrew, right? I don't see anyone saying that yet. People are just focusing on a lot of the other stuff, trying to pause it. It's possible that when Spider-Man's doing the jump, in one of those flips, they swapped out Andrew Garfield for um, Tom Holland. And we all know that in Amazing Spider-Man 2, Gwen died. So wouldn't it be cool if Andrew is revealed by swinging in and saving MJ in that critical moment? Um, now, another cool thing here we're seeing, when the Sandman comes out, um, he is punched by Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Now, here's the crazy thing. Look at the lizard. Huh? He just got kicked in the neck. Look at that. It's possible that they did, one of the things that they always do is to just delete stuff and change stuff. And it could be just like in Infinity War when the money shot, they showed him um, Infinity War and it was actually Hulk when actually it was Hulk Buster in the real movie. Could be that they took out and swapped because they do that. So they're hiding stuff. They're hiding a lot of stuff. Um, and it's really, really terrible. It's a shame. Um, gosh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's really, really underwhelming. But what I know for a fact is that the movie itself is going to be the S. So uh, let's all hope for the best. And we'll check it out then.